You know, I was watching a documentary with Mr. Arnold Schwarzenegger. I was watching it in my car last night, and um, that, that, that doesn't sound right. I was watching it in my car, but I was. You know, I have, sometimes I have a YouTube video playing through the audio, the speakers, Bluetooth. You know how it goes, man. Don't, don't act like you don't do it. Um, so I was watching that, and I was very, I just love, like, getting inspiration from places that you wouldn't think I get inspiration from. Like I told you, this year, there's only three places I'm going to get my inspiration from. Myself, right, God, and nature. So in this time, I got inspiration from this, this one thing that um, Arnold Schwarzenegger said that, that applies to, I think, everywhere, you know, and he's talking a, a lot about bodybuilding and, you know, what to work on to gain mass and to gain all this muscle and to work on your chest and to work on your arms. And that's cool. I somehow am very attracted to bodybuilding. Like I, you know, if, if to get lean for me would be like getting so much muscle, like I would be one of those females bodybuilders, like definitely. I'm very attracted to that lifestyle. I don't know what it is. I've always been, even very young. I just haven't done anything about it. <laughs> um, so here's the deal. So I'm watching Arnold Schwarzenegger, and he said that he shocks his muscles. Like, there's always this routine that the body understands. The body knows you're going to go do 12 reps over there in the curls. The body knows that you're going to, after, after 12 reps, you're going to up the weight on them. The body knows, the muscles have memory, and it, and it knows you. It adapts to you. And that's why it's very hard to, to break a habit because it's almost easier to do the same routines. Now, if your same routines are, even if they're, like, fully personal development up, you know, you're getting good results. Like, how could you shock yourself into a, even to level up? Because I think in order to level up is what he was trying to say. Let's level up our muscles because you could only get so big doing the same thing. But how do you get, get, get up? How do you do more? Do you add more weight? And what he said was very shocking because it's not adding more weight. Instead, let's say he, he usually starts at, you know, 220 on the, the thing. Then you add more weights on there. Now it's up to 270. Now you add more, it's 300. His body knows that. You're going to do that. We get it. We understand it. There's nothing new here. So in order for him to shock his muscles, he may start with 350. Try to get two reps out of that or two, two actual sets, you know. I don't know, sets, reps, you know. So... He starts with 350, goes lower, still trying to pump out the reps, right? Then goes lower, still trying to pump. By the time he gets even to a lower uh, number, let's say a denomination of maybe 150 pounds on the curls, and I'm just really estimating and I'm really just generalizing, right? Um, he gets down to that. His muscles can't even take the 150. He done shocked his muscle, and he said it a couple of times, man, I shocked my body. I shocked my body. So I put that in terms of personal development, right? We get up. You get up early. You do the same routine. You're week by week. You're going. There's no real pow. There's no real psh, There's no real shock, you know? It's just like, hey, uh, we're going in a steady stream here. Things are good, you know? Things are great. The body knows. The mind knows. Maybe you're even uh, um, getting to a point where it's okay. Like, it's just normal shit now right? It gets normal. It gets average, you know? Personal development can get average, okay? Um, you're reading another book. You hear the same, so it's, it's, it gets the same, you know, it's like the same things over and over. So how do you shock yourself to, to move up a level? And the only way to do that is to get uncomfortable. Like, you've gotten comfortable with the weights, buddy, Okay, you've got comfortable with the routines, buddy. You got comfortable waking up at 5 a.m., reading your two books, you know, going to jog on the treadmill, and you got this comfortable status quo life, even though it's a better life than those that are just sleeping in the couch, right? It's, it's acknowledged. We know that. We know this. What I'm saying is how could we take it to another level? How do we get uncomfortable again? How do we keep growing and shock? We got to get to a point where we don't know shit. We got to be in the room where we don't know nothing. I was in a room the other day. I'm on a board, a board of directors, right? Yes, Stacy's on a board. I made it to the board where I'm going to look at me. No hands, okay? And what I am um, 
my duties on the board are very, you know, let's, you know, marketing mindset, culture, communication, you know, training, like it's all of it. Right. And, and what we do for the realtors that come on, as you know, I am a realtor, right? You know, I'm a realtor. I'm also on the board now. Yes. Mama, look, I made it. Um, but what we do is try to build the systems and the processes inside, inside the agency, inside the firm, inside the broker. Okay. And one thing that I, I suggested is, hey, we're going to have to get uncomfortable here. Okay. People looked at me. Hey, they, but they're all, the, they're all on it because they know what it is, what I'm talking about. Okay. We're going to get uncomfortable. Okay. We're going to set up a, we're going to set up a set here. People are going to have to get on camera. Okay. People are going to have to talk about their business. People are going to have to grow their business. People are going to have to do things that they may find a little uncomfortable. Oh, tell me more. So another person was there. His name is Bruce Waller. Bruce shot yourself out, man. You're awesome. Bruce comes from a mentor. Um, his mentor was worth like his net worth was like 300 mil. Okay. If we're comparing net mentors here, I just, I just was like, man, my mentor is great. Yeah. He's like, his mentor told him to read books. Like, Hey, read this. Shut up. I'm worth this. You ain't worth shit. Let's go. (laughs) I like that. Um, so Bruce always talks about, um, the archetypes and as well as personality. So he's like, you know, I went home and I, I did a personality test on everybody here and I know your personality. And I was like, you don't know mine because there it goes again. I'm already at the point where I feel like, no, no, you can't. You don't know me. You don't know me. And it's like, stay, shut the fuck up. Okay. Get uncomfortable again. Let somebody give you some feedback, man. It gets like that to a point where we feel like we know it. We're good now. We have it down pat. Things are going well. Things are moving right along. And boom. We don't shock ourselves. We don't shock our mindset. We don't shock our bodies. We don't shock the people we're with. We don't shock anything. And we're comfortable again, even while we're personally developing ourselves. And that shit sucks. Because I got there. I got there. Just before New Year, the New Year, I got there. I got comfortable. I noticed it. I was like, wow, I'm fucking comfortable. And this sucks. And I feel so bad because... I've created this this whole get uncomfortable lifestyle. And look at me. I'm so comfortable in my personal development story. So I made some I made some new goals. I made some new goals. So when when people talk about um you know changing up your goals, changing up your um you know, like what 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 are you going for? Are you going for something small? Are you going for something big, you know? I know that in order to get something big, you have to go for something even bigger larger like we know like putting ten thousand dollars a month twenty thousand dollars a month thirty thousand dollars a month as a goal is just too small okay it's too small um so you have to go bigger how do you go bigger how do you get better well how could we do that when we we don't want to shock our body units we don't want to we don't want to grow so bruce talked about the personality types i've took i've taken two personality tests to just learn more about me. I'm a dominant. Okay. B an inspiration guru. You know, inspiration just bleeds out of my freaking blood vessels that no, you know, even if a lady, I give a lady a shopping cart. I'm always talking, I, I, I gotta give it some inspiration, man. I gotta feel, cause that's my energy. I just love giving that shit out. And, um, and that's why I'm here on earth. But how do I, how do I freaking maximize this, man? I got, I, I'm still scared. I'm still scared. Okay. We're still scared because we know what we know, and when we when we get confronted with something we don't know, we back down or we act like clowns, and that's that's the part that's stopping us. So, like Arnold Schwarzenegger says, how do you train yourself or shock yourself? And hey, yo, you know you you know what the body knows, you know what your mind knows, but how do you go crazy and just boom, just get uncomfortable, just shock it, just one hundred percent, and it's about the baseline of the entire company. It's about getting uncomfortable, right? So I never thought that we were going to make an investment group. I never thought that, uh, Stacy, you don't know shit about investment groups, right? I don't know nothing about the SEC and I don't know nothing about the FCC. I don't know nothing about, um, you know, cash flow and reading those things. I had to learn. And, and, and the thing is, if I stood with, Oh, 
you know, let's just make a podcast. Let's just make a video and a webinar. And I tried that and I did that. You understand? Let's make a book. I did that, you know? And then it gets to a point where you try to maintain that level and you get stuck like Chuck and it'd be three, four years on that same level. Why? Because you've got comfortable with that level saying that it's uncomfortable. And that level has gotten very comfortable. Don't you, wouldn't you agree? You go into the gym. Okay, you do the same sets, you do the same routine, you run on the same treadmill for the same amount of time, then you get off of that, you say hi to the same girl, you say hi to the same dude, you, you have your small talk, you jump on Twitter, and then you go hit the curls, you hit the bench press, and it's the same shit. And it's like, whoa. See, what's we're, we're, what will really scare you is if you say, oh man, I'm, let, me, let me sign up for IBP. Pro, let me do one of these shows, man. I don't know if I'm ready for it. You ain't ready for it. None of us are ready for it. We ain't ready for shit that we're not ready for. But in order to up our self, up our skills, up our levels, we are going to have to do those amazing things, those ultra amazing things, those things that will scare us, those things that we don't want to do. I'm not talking about reading six books a month, man. It's so easy. You know, I'm not talking about the stuff that people will think about um, when it comes to self-improvement and mindset and shit like that. I'm not talking about just getting up at 4.30 in the morning. Like, yo, I'm going to shock my body. I'm going to get up at 4.30 in the morning. If you constantly get up at 4.30 in the morning, you're used to that, man. It's whatever you're doing to get to the next level. We talked about levels. I spoke about this way before in life. It's easy. Okay, we talk about the levels, but we're we're stuck on the same level or we're we go backwards to one level below. Okay, so let's be honest with ourselves. Oh man, are you ready to get uncomfortable, man? Are you ready to shock your body, shock your muscles? You gotta jump on a CKC. What's CKC? The Comfort Killers Coliquium. Again, didn't know. Hey, let's let's make let's make when what I said was I'm tired of the mastermind groups, right? Okay. I'm kind of tired of seeing everybody's coaching program. Um, And I decided, I says, okay, we got to do something better, right? We got to do something better for each other, number one. And I got to totally be accountable to people now, okay? Like I got to, it's not just about, it's not just about, Going online, clicking a few buttons, downloading an ebook, even though that's all there, right? It's all there. Um, it's done already. It's about taking it and, and doing something greater, right? What can we do that's that's greater than what we're doing now? What what can we do that's ultra than what we're doing now? Because that's what that's what takes us out to the next level. That's what scares us. I was reading a tweet when Kanye West said, Hey, listen, get uh, Zuckerberg to contact me. I'm $25 million in debt and I need to do stuff. You know, $25 million in debt, bro. Bro. I always say that to people like, man, um, uh, my debts is, is baby cake, 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 rice, cake, pudding, rice, pudding, you know, a little bit of milk compared to what people have. Like, as far as debt is concerned, personal debt, business debt, whatever. It's like, and we're over here. I'm stressing out because I'm not thinking big enough, man. I'm not thinking big enough. People want no debt. Shit, give me the $50 million debt. Because if I, for me to be in $50 million debt, look what I've accomplished. <laughs> it's, just a, it's just shocking the mindset. That's what we're on now. I'm shocking it. I don't I don't want to do the same things. I don't want to think the same way. I want to shock it. You know, get out the the defibrillator, right? Put it on put it on your head. Don't put it on your head, please. Please. Okay? The AED machine. This is not literal. Put it on your mindset and just shock it. Shock it. Shock it. So we're playing it. We're playing too small. All of us. All of us. All of us, man. And it and it and it got to a point where it just sucks. You know? Like I'm bored. You ever been bored? 
This is what boredom is. Boredom is playing a small game and a routine. I don't want, you know what, matter of fact, I don't want no routines, man. I want a couple of rituals that I do. I don't want no routines. I don't want I don't want you to even have a hold on me, man. You don't even know what I'm doing. See what I'm saying? You don't even know what I'm doing. Why not write a fiction? You know, a couple years ago, I said to myself, I will I only read non I only read fiction. I I'm nonfiction. I only read nonfiction. I will never write nonfiction. I'm I'm about to <sighs> That's what I'm talking about. Fly the plane, man. Fly the plane. Go hiking, man. Enjoy enjoy everything. Don't ever stay the same. Don't ever stay the same. Don't ever let your body catch up to your routines. Don't let your mindset think it knows what you want, what you're going to do today. Change it up. Get uncomfortable. Take action. Shock your body. So I was like, okay. So I'm on the board. And um, I have a plan. And the plan is literally written on a one sheet piece of paper. It was first written in my head. Then I said, damn, I got to act like I'm... I'm writing something down, so let me write something down because it's all in my head. And um, so what we're going to do is it's going to be beneficial for you because now you're going to get another show out of me. Remember I told you Get Uncomfortable is coming back? Well, it is. It's coming back as a video slash podcast, and we're doing it with a bunch of great people, adding them to the to the lineup, making them great, hearing their perspective, their point of view. It's good because, man, people, they're, they're interesting, man. People are really interesting. And I don't want it to be about myself anymore. Like, I think I've grown up, you know. I really don't want it to be about myself. Um, The Comfort Killers Colloquium, just go to thecomfortkillers.com slash CKC. We have uh, calls every month, two calls. One is the intro call, and then the other is for members only, Members only call. We dissect a lot of things. We have uh, featured specialist guests. Um, the guests guests could be um, our very own CKC members, but I want you to be a part of CKC. You know, everyone is doing it the same way. What is the formula right now? The formula is get you a Wix website, okay? Get some authority about you. Go live a million times, right? Develop your product on the back end. Get a lead magnet. Give them the lead magnet. And, hey, listen, if you're a consumer, you're going to hear this. This is what the formula is, okay? You click a lead, lead magnet, you go in a funnel, and you're going to hear, you're going you're gonna to get my personality. I'm done with all of that. I'm done with it. I don't, I don't think, to me, business is more than that. It's more than clicky clicky. It is systems. It is processes. I get that. I understand that. But as far as thinking bigger, okay, thinking bigger, doing bigger. When I look at other folks that are doing a hundred times better than me as far as financially, they're not, uh, they're not better than me. They're not because I'm living. I'm a breathing human being, spiritual being here on this fucking earth. Okay, no one's better than me. We're equal, right? But you may have a bigger bank account, okay? And I don't see that you're doing the same things that everyone's doing. You didn't have to. Why? 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 Because you shocked yourself, man. You didn't have to fall victim to the same things. Here's my three-part series video. And hopefully... After, they'll buy it. They'll buy the full product. Man, whose fucking idea was this? Who's, whose idea was this? Give them everything and cross your fingers and hopefully they will buy your product. <laughs> Meanwhile, 
business is being ran. People are doing a hundred million, two hundred million on assets, tangibles or intangibles. People are developing hedge funds, funds, investment groups, Teslas, whatever the hell. And you're over here playing it safe, doing it the same way. Look in the camera. Be great. Pump your head up. Ain't nobody here on earth has more energy than me. They don't have more energy than me. We have the same energy. I can conjure up so much energy in one single moment. You would think that I was made from a bunch of fucking photons, which I am. It's all energy, man. So you could keep your energy over here on this scale over here and just keep it there. Or you could just look at the bigger picture and say, you know what? I don't even need to be there. There's no step. There's no fucking step by steps. There's no process there. You could fucking do it. Whatever you want to do. Whatever you want to do, but you got to shock your system. You cannot do it. You can't shock your system with these lame routines, man. Because once you get comfortable with that, it's a wrap. You're the status quo. I want my fingers in every part of this world. Do you understand? I want to touch every part of this world. I want to touch every part of this world. I want to touch everybody in this world. I don't want to just have it be the simple, basic flow. I am Stacy A. Cross. <laughs> and there is no E. In my name. Hey, you know what? You know what? So, you know what's so funny? I shouldn't even say this. I shouldn't even put this out there. I'm not going to put it out there. Maybe in the next podcast I put it out there. But listen. Stop being the same, man. You're looking like robots out here. Stop being the same. I, what makes you unique? We all got the same brain, the same hand, the same liver, the same heart. Same blood, same skin. Many many would think we don't have the same skin. Yeah, I got more melanin than you. Same toes, eyes, pineal, lymphatic, musculoskeletal, actin and myosin. What makes us different is our urge, a desire, our drive to do it bigger, to keep it going, and to smile all the way doing it. Love, baby. Peace.